Hey you, how are you doing? My name is Michael Patrick Straub, CEO and founder of Wix Training Academy. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to go about pricing your web development services and how I took my average project value from $1,600 to $5,000 in a matter of a month. <laughs> So if you're watching this video right now and you're just like, Michael, I simply don't know how to price my web development services or if I'm overcharging or undercharging or if I choose hourly or I choose another pricing route, you're not alone. So many people out there trying to get started in the design and development business face this problem. How much do you charge for a project? completely natural question to be asking yourself. However, I'm going to go and make a bold proclamation right now that if you're watching this video, you're probably cutting yourself short and undercharging on projects when you could be generating so much more revenue for your business. Why do I make that bold proclamation? Because I've been there. See, when I was doing freelance development work, I would go ahead and price my projects at what I believed was actually fairly high at the time. But little did I know, I was so, so wrong. See, what, what I used to do is I used to look at the cost of the project. Think about how much time I had involved or if I was using a subcontractor at the time, look at what they were charging me to complete a project, and then I would just add a little bit of fluff on top, which as a model isn't necessarily wrong. The problem is the fluff I added on top paled in comparison to what it really could have or technically should have been. See, when I was going through that freelance route, my average project value was $1,600. Now, some of you may have just heard that number and said, whoa, that's, that's a lot more than my average project value is. Or some of you may have heard that number and been like, geez, yeah, dude, you needed to step it up. And it doesn't really matter where you fall on that spectrum. However, what you need to recognize is number one, taking into account what your current average project value is. The easiest way to determine what your average project value is, is simply take a sample size of your most recent 10 or even all of your previous projects that you've taken on, what the total revenue generated was from each of those projects, and then divide it by however many projects you had. So maybe you had 10 projects and the total revenue generated for the sake of round numbers from those 10 projects was $20,000. Now, if you take that $20,000 and you divide that by the 10 projects, you'll find that you had an average project value of $2,000 a project. Once you identify what that average project value is, you now have a baseline to say, okay, this is where I'm at now. And then what you have to do is you have to set a goal and this goal should make you feel uncomfortable. You should not feel comfortable when you set this number, but you have to determine what would you like your average project value to be. Don't let it be a number that just covers your monthly expenses. Don't let it be a number that just gives you just enough to scoop by each month. Don't give a number that makes some extra pocket change on a monthly basis. Give a number that will allow you to achieve financial freedom and generate the revenue you deserve for your work. In my case, initially, my average project value was $1,600 a client. I wanted to get that to $5,000 a client. Now, for some, you may hear that and think, well, that's not really a big jump. That doesn't sound too uncomfortable. For others, you might be like, Oh my gosh, that might take me years to accomplish. Again, no matter where you fall on that spectrum, those were not my numbers. That's where I wanted to go at $5,000 a client bringing in multiple clients on a monthly basis. I would consider that doing really well for myself in college and generating a thriving business.
So if you didn't watch my video about five lessons I acquired from going from zero to $220,000 in revenue in my business, that video is above. But what I do explain in that is at the start of 2019, I got serious about my business and really wanted to create the systems and create a real business. So instead of going where the wind blew, like I did with the freelance portion of my business, I got down and I got serious and I set that goal of an average project value of $5,000. And I hit it in one month. Now, you're probably asking yourself, okay, so what did you do? Well, so that's a bit of a loaded question. There was a lot of things I did because I fixed all the systems in my business. And if you'd like to hear about how I did that, comment down below and let me know and I'll create videos of how I accomplished that. But initially what I did is I created a two-step sales process and that's a video in of itself. In fact, I might even do a live workshop on that. Again, let me know if you'd be interested in that. But right off the bat, I raised my prices. Yeah, exactly. So I went from taking in a new project that I would have quoted maybe at $1,500 and instead I quoted that same project at $5,000. You see, in business, an entrepreneur literally translates over to risk taker. If you never take any risks in your business, you are just simply not going to level up. Now, some risks pay out, have high reward, some risks you lose, and that's okay. And you have to be willing to accept that. In my case, I determined that I was going to risk a potential client by raising the amount I charged. Little did I know, not only was this actually a fantastic thing for my business, I wondered why I didn't do it sooner, and better yet, I think the clients actually became more attracted to me and my business. You see, your price reflects the value you provide. Whether you like to hear that or you don't, people associate price with value. Just ponder it for a second. If you go to McDonald's, you know you're going to be paying a very cheap price, right? But the value that you're receiving in return for that cost you're providing McDonald's pales in comparison to if you're going to a steakhouse and spending $100 a head on dinner. If you're spending $100 a head on dinner, you're expecting that you're going to get some phenomenal value. You're going to enjoy the hell out of that meal. You're going to have a great glass of wine and you're just going to enjoy the atmosphere and experience and being dined on. This is a very simple but yet clear explanation of how price dictates value. That same thing applies to your design or your development business. Many times, people think that if they raise their prices, they're going to scare clients off. In fact, a lot of times, if you're attracting the right clients, it's actually doing the complete opposite. It's attracting them to you because they feel that since you have a higher price, that you demand and provide more value to them. They think that you'll provide them a better result. They think you'll give them a better experience. And all of these things should hold true. So know that you should go out on a limb and you should increase your prices. But make sure you have the systems in place to provide on that value that you are now associating your price with. So I, I know it seems crazy, but it, it really is simple as raising your prices and taking the risk to go ahead and do that. Now, for many of you, you might be like, well, Michael, what do I actually raise my price to? Well, you need to raise your price every project you receive to a number that's going to help you achieve that new average project value goal you set for yourself. In my case, my average project value goal was $5,000 a project. So naturally, I took a project that I would normally charge $1,500 on and raised it to $5,000. Now, did I have to perform and execute and provide immense value on that project? You bet I did. Although, I accomplished it. I took the risk and I charged the higher price. 
and it worked and it worked and it worked many times over until I went from zero to $220,000 in revenue in 2019. So what I'm explaining to you does work, but I can't get into your mind and actually make you do it. You have to be the one to go ahead and say, okay, I've got a new prospect here and I would normally charge $1,500 for this, but my new average project value goal is $5,000. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shot and I'm gonna tell them that my price is $5,000. By doing this, number one, you're increasing your revenue, which means you're increasing your profit if you keep your expenses the same, which means you're creating a financial freedom environment for yourself but also you're charging based off of value. Now, value-based pricing is a whole other video in of itself, and if you'd like to learn how to go about doing that, let me know in the comments below, but you're charging based off of value. So rather than charging time for money, you're trading time for money, you're charging based off of value. You've instantly increased your price, which has increased the value that you provide. So my challenge for you is to go ahead and on your next potential prospect that comes through on that sales call, raise your prices. Just see what happens. What's the worst case scenario? You get a no. So what? It happens. Part of the game of sales is getting enough no's till you finally get your yes. It's going to happen. There will be people that say, no, that's way too high. And to that, I would tell you, they're not the right person for your business anyway. And there's going to be people that say, no, that's just a little bit out of my ballpark or no, are you crazy? How could you charge this much money for your services? You are going to get a full spectrum. But what you need to know is you need to be okay with hearing that and you need to persevere through that anyway and then provide the best value possible because I promise you, you're one more no away from a perfect yes and achieving that 4% perfect client that you would want to work with time and time again. So go out there and give it a shot. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed this content, I would kindly ask that you give me a thumbs up right down below. Comment if you have any questions at all and let me know where you're at currently. Are you in the place where you finally achieved raising your prices? Are you still not sure if you want to raise your prices. I want to have a conversation with you about it. So comment below. And lastly, if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to see more of it, hit that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here and you'll instantly plug into 33,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs looking to increase their revenue and increase their impact on the world while also raising their prices. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, my name is Michael Patrick Strauch, CEO and founder of Wix Training Academy, and I am super excited to see what you're able to accomplish, which is that life of freedom you deserve by raising your prices.